The Jagged Things crew visited a haunted hotel in this paranormal investigation. A few things happened while exploring the home that they didn't notice until watching the video back. The first occurs behind Linda. Watch closely. Did you see that? It looks like something passes behind her. Here it is, more slowly. To me, it looks like it could just be the backlighting from the window distorted by Linda's position in front of the doorway and the movement of the camera. But this isn't the only spooky thing to occur. Watch the door at the end of the hall. And here's a close-up. Although it's more interesting to think this was paranormal, I have to admit it could also be a draft. Still, both are great captures. What do you think is going on here? When police officers stopped to assist a car that had broken down on the side of Southeast Loop 820 in Forest Hill, Texas, they probably weren't thinking this was a super risky call, but they'd be wrong, as the three police officers and two motorists awaited a tow truck, lights flashing, a vehicle sped at top speed towards them, completely out of control, and they nearly didn't notice until it was too late. You can see in the video that the group is oblivious to what is about to happen until one officer spots the vehicle flying in their direction, just in time to throw the group out of harm's way. The car sideswiped one police car, slammed head on into another, and barely avoided the broken down vehicle and all the people milling around on the shoulder. After plowing through, the rogue vehicle ricocheted back into traffic, but then returned to the roadside, where it screeched to a halt. When the car stopped, police hurried to remove the driver. Unsurprisingly, 26-year-old motorist Cedric Keith Henson Jr. had been drinking and was detained at the scene. Although no one was hurt, they very well could have been. Split Sides published this hypnotically creepy video, Olho de Agua River in Bonito, Brazil. In February of 2018, the area had experienced heavy rain, submerging the jungle, and allowing for these beautiful and somewhat unnerving views of a mysterious underwater forest. You can see tree stumps, branches, and bridges submerged. According to the video, flooding at this level has happened at least three times within the last 16 years. By the day's end, the water receded to a normal level, but it does make you wish you could experience something like this. There's something very beautiful and still about the mysterious atmosphere the flood creates. What happens when the truth can't be found and footage cannot be simply explained? Published by Luke Jones in November of 2013. This video may just reveal a real-life Savannah vampire. Jones writes, was reviewing the CCTV and couldn't believe my eyes. Had to put it on YouTube. The video clip shows a few customers in a flip-flop shop in Savannah, Georgia. On one wall, a mirror is mounted for customers to check out their style in flops. You can see a female customer reflected in the mirror as she sits on a nearby bench texting, and you can see a male customer perusing flip-flops beside her. One man passes by the mirror and is accurately reflected. A short while later, another man dressed in all black passes by the mirror as well, only this time, no reflection. The male and female customers are still reflected properly in the mirror, but the men dressed in black? Nada. What is this wizardry? It could be unexplainable, and we may never know. This video is taken on a creature expedition deep in the woods of Alabama. Is this an unknown creature caught on tape? They think they see a figure hiding between two trees, and when they zoom in for a closer look, they hear a deep noise.
Well, some people think this is a cryptid noise. I'm pretty sure it's just the sound of the zoom lens going in and out of focus. Do you think this is a creature sighting they've caught on camera? I think they were just creeped out in some admittedly scary woods. There's an old abandoned bus in the woods that's supposed to be haunted. According to legend, the school wanted to get rid of the bus after someone lost their life on the way home. It switched ownership a few more times before a ghost hunter purchased it for a low price. He's out randomly recording it one day when all of a sudden he hears this. The man recording says that he does not have any children and that he is on his large wooded property all by himself. I will say that the voice does sound like it's coming from inside of the bus or at least someplace close. I guess he could have a daughter or something who is hiding inside, but probably not. Then, as he is walking closer to the bus, he suddenly hears this very clearly. This could be a prank, but it could also be the ghost of a girl who does not know that she has passed on. She apparently tries to get his attention by cheerfully saying hello, but he runs away leaving her behind in her rotting bus. While out on his porch, this young man spots two green eyes peering back at him from the darkness. Published in June of 2020, Jimmy Reynolds lives near the edge of the woods, so it would be safe to assume that any number of woodland creatures are nearby. But what kind of creature is this? He approaches the eyes in the darkness, speaking out to it. What the hell? See, there it is. Hey! Oh, what the f***? You'll see that. But as he gets closer, it apparently runs off. Jimmy thinks it could be a cat or a dog, but people in the comments are of the opinion that it's something much larger. Some say it's a skinwalker or a crawler. Others say it could be a forest ghoul. Cat Anonymous writes, It's probably stalking your house for food. Not sure if it eats humans. In any case, this dude better lock his doors. The origins of this video are mysterious, and the footage even more so. Published to YouTuber Chibonk182, the short clip is entitled Kuyang Dayak. The video shows what appears to be a beast human behind a cage. The creature seems to have an animalistic body, although no animal on Earth has ever looked like this. <laughs> While its ghost white face is that of a human male's, with long shaggy brown hair, the face looks perturbed by chit-chatting of the onlookers, to say the least, but it just continues to lie there on the blue flowered sheet, its limbs moving slightly. Also known as the Krasu in Cambodian mythology and Krasu in Laos, the Kuyang spirit is ubiquitous across the folklore of Southeast Asia. The figure appears with the head of a woman, with its internal organs trailing below her. Is that what it is meant to be? If not, then what in the world is it? A thing of myth and legend or not? This clip does one thing right. It makes you shudder in horror. What Lies Beneath These Murky Waters Published by Blah Blah in November of 2021 and originally published by YouTuber Cup Steward, a group of friends is rowing a small boat at night when they discover they're not alone on the river. While floating in still waters, one of the crew reaches his hand into the river. He snatches it back like he felt something grab him. <laughs> As their camera is directed toward the water, a few feet away, a giant glint of light is visible in the darkness, but it's not clear what it is. After a moment, a blue hand slices through the water. <laughs> A slow motion capture of the hand reveals long, thin fingers, all basically the same length. This hand is not human, and it doesn't belong to any known earthly being. Is this a real life swamp monster? All we know is this crew better vacate these waters before they're dragged down with it. 
this person was hoping to have caught a fish on video, but instead they've caught a different creature altogether. Bats for days. Look, he's right there. Dude, he flew right in my face. A bat is caught on camera flying, almost going into his mouth, and you can hear him spit in disgust. Look, he's right there. Dude, he flew right in my face. This creepy bat encounter is beyond creepy, but it should be really alarming for two main reasons. One, a bat should be able to avoid people in wide open spaces with no problem, so this one was probably targeting him on purpose. Two, bats are nocturnal, so having one aggressively fly at you in the middle of the day could mean it has rabies. In other words, definitely not something you'd want to come in close contact with, especially not your open mouth. I really hope they're okay. A visit to the doctor's room for a quick medical checkup might be in order just to make sure. Matt Bell accidentally manages to catch his neighbor's house on video as it goes up in flames. Watch about a minute in as a flaming piece of debris flutters across the street and lands in his hedges with a solid thud. Soon his front yard is ablaze, and now Matt's house looks like it is about to go up next. It looks pretty bad for a while, until his neighbors run over with some garden hoses and work on putting out the flames. Meanwhile, all Matt can do is watch on his phone with terror as he rushes home. Please put that out for me, please. I'm on my way home. Your house on fire! Yeah, I know. I'm on my way. The authorities are ultimately able to contain the blaze and keep it from spreading to other residences. This video just goes to show how easily the fire could have spread. If that flaming chunk had landed on Matt's roof instead of the hedges, there would have been little that his neighbors could have done. If you hear something outside, don't go investigate. You might not like what you find. Published to YouTube in July of 2006, TCAN456 writes, Just watch, but not before you go to bed. Take his advice. In this home video, our friend, who is clearly scared judging by his breathing patterns, looks around his house after hearing something and then heads outside to investigate. He passes a large potted plant as he turns a corner. Nothing appears to be there, but when he turns back, a figure flees from behind the plant and races into the darkness. The cameraman runs after it but quickly loses the creature. He searches along some thick hedges in his backyard and soon faces the plant man again. Instead of searching him out further, he races inside, locking the door behind him, runs to his room, locking that door too and gets in bed. All the while there is banging. <laughs> although it's not clear where the sound is coming from. The rest of the video is nothing but a black screen, one upon which you keep expecting a jump scare to surface. Don't worry, the fear is over. But my questions about this video remain unanswered. This abandoned prison castle was built in 1865 and was used to house all types of scary people. It was a transitory prison before sending prisoners to hard labor or exile. Now it apparently houses actual ghosts. Published by Toppy in November of 2021, these paranormal investigators went to visit the dark and mysterious place. Here is what they found. Outside, they walk around the wall where lives were ended. Then they head inside. The investigator notes that they say they've heard some coughing. Inside the cells, they listen but hear nothing. They come across strange windows, perhaps built for ventilation, lockable slots, likely to deliver food to the inmates, and a shower room. In one hallway, they find this figure, posed like a statue. We aren't sure what its story is, but it towers over the place like it's floating. At one point, a strange, unexplained noise is recorded as they're talking, and another sound is heard, like blowing on metal. They also hear a door bang at a distance,
They say they feel like they're not alone here. Perhaps they aren't. But is their company alive or paranormal? I've analyzed some of Laney and Ben's footage in previous videos, and I'm completely convinced that their home is 100% haunted. Here is yet another video to prove it. Published in November of 2021, the couple is attempting to use an EMF meter to talk to a spirit named Dave, who hangs around their home. Well, usually you'd expect for the meter to go off. That's apparently not the way Dave communicates. Instead, as the couple encourages Dave to communicate with them, setting the meter upright on the table in front of them, the meter is knocked over, causing them both to jump in shock. You might assume that it just fell over, but when you look closely, it certainly appears as though it was thrown down by a malevolent force. Something tells me Dave is the strong, silent type. A YouTuber named Sweet Dreams is shooting off Roman candles in celebration of the 4th of July when a shrill scream pierces the night air. <laughs> They track the noise for well over a minute until it becomes louder and more distinct. At the end of a short journey, standing a very close distance away, they discover the shrieking source hunched over and alone. What is that? Dude, what is that? He slowly backs away from the bent over grey humanoid and then goes into an all out run. The creature gives chase and Sweet Dreams turns around to find it swiping at him through the air. I can't tell if this is an actual humanoid or just one of their friends with makeup on, so I'll leave it up to you to decide. All of the other videos on his channel are just him playing video games, nothing else like this one. A man from Calgary is heading into work after a long Canadian Thanksgiving week Weekend, when he sees the screen to the window has been pulled off and set carefully next to the door. Fearing an intruder, he plays back the security camera footage and finds something even scarier. The screen is tightly secured but then it pops out all by itself and lands perfectly upright. A gust of wind that strong should also move this object across a table, which it does not. So I vote ghost. Just like he says, it's beyond creepy. creepy. It's 10 at night when a sphere of light travels across the living room of a YouTuber named Play With Me. Moments later, this spectral figure emerges from the same area where the light last went off to. Its see-through body is especially visible against the dark hardwood floor. As it crosses the room and walks straight through the door without opening it, there's no doubt that this is the sphere of a person. But is this editing or a real ghost is the real question. Basements are built to house all the evils of the world. This basement is no exception. Published by YouTuber Mr. Vujade in February of 2012, this frightening basement monster will scare the living daylights out of you. The short clip sees our protagonist heading downstairs into a creepy dark basement. As he slowly searches the space, it appears empty. Apart from a few piles of storage items, some bicycles, the usual suspects in a basement. But then suddenly he turns. Which which is when he is confronted by this. I'm never going down there again, the YouTuber writes. Who can blame him? I don't think I could ever work up the courage to explore that basement. Ghost Club Paranormal is spending the night at a cursed witch's cabin in the middle of the forest. And you better believe that terror unfolds. While attempting to commune with the spirits, they hear them walking overhead. How many people are here? Do you hear that? The spirit then confirms its presence. Upstairs. If that was somebody trying to communicate, can you do that again? When they set up the spirit box, several paranormal devices are triggered. That light just came on. I just got it. <laughs> Are you sitting over by the bar? 
Oh, oh, me too. They questioned the spirits and are answered. Did a man die here? And then the spirits start playing games. Let's uh, go downstairs again and we'll take this a little fast with it. Hey. Oh. You did see that, right? Did you touch that? I didn't even touch it. Did, are you I me did, right I, now? Did, I didn't touch it. Later, as one of the crew turns on the spirit box, the flashlight dims. I'm gonna stick this on again real fast. The spirits are descending. But we have heard a man. And they continue to communicate through lights. What does that matter? Oh. Whoa. The second I put this on night vision, that flashlight just started going like crazy. And taps. Was that she that just touched my head? Tapping again. Is this the witch trying to get closer to them? Or one of the witch's victims? Redditor, everyone is human, shared the following video to Reddit with a short read-up that says, My sister-in-law's ring camera captured this tonight. I have never been a believer, but I am struggling to dismiss this. Please weigh in on it. So let's have a look and see if we can help the uploader in figuring out what was filmed on the camera that night. So, I need you to focus your attention. So, if we're looking at the center beam here, about dead center on the center beam, and then to the left, about halfway in between this center beam and this beam here. And you just see that thing just move. All right, now it's and now it's between these two beams. Just huffing it down the sidewalk. Still on camera here. But it looks like whatever this is, it, it almost looks like the ghost of somebody out for an evening jog as it starts on the left side of the sidewalk here and just continues down the sidewalk for the entire video. Whatever it is almost appears kind of translucent as well. You'd think if it was just a person, like an actual person out for a jog, it would be a lot more visible on camera. It would, it would just look like, a, you know, just a regular person on camera. This almost looks not only translucent, lucent but it's kind of floating in the air. I can definitely see why this uploader, who is usually a skeptic when it comes to this sort of thing, is having a hard time coming up with a logical explanation of what exactly happened on the security footage. It certainly looks to be some sort of ghostly figure out for an evening stroll, but one can only hope that's not the case. Some viewers suggest that it could actually just be the camera that's making an ordinary person look like a ghost. Is this actually a ghost walking around in clear view or is this just a camera trick on a regular person i'll let you decide this is what happens when a ghost is envious published to youtube by morgan sancombe in april of 2016 a girl sets up a camera in her bedroom to perform a short song but it seems she isn't alone in the background as she's singing her closed door slowly opens and something sitting on her dresser topples over. Or is it thrown by an envious ghost trying to sabotage her performance? The girl turns around in surprise, backing away before jumping over to shut the door again. Was this just a coincidence? A random series of perfectly logical events? Or do we have a real paranormal encounter on our hands? What did you say? Can you say that again? Right into the side of my thing? I heard you. A TikToker named Deadbeat TV is investigating a haunted farmhouse for traces of the paranormal when he gets an answer to his question in the form of a passing shadow. What did you say? Can you say that again? He is standing completely still, and yet something moves fast across the floor. The shadow is perfectly contained within this room and does not touch either side of the doorway at all. It doesn't come from behind. Something ran across this room, a low moving shadow with no body attached, and shortly after, this second ghostly shadow reaches out. 
This seems like something paranormal to me. Jessie Sims and her friend use a Ouija board only to discover they are surrounded by three spirits. She claims to get dizzy and asks if it's a good spirit she's talking to. The spirit gives them a negative response, so Jessie fights her panic and asks, Is this Zozo? The pointer stays over no. It's not Zozo after all. Still, they both have a bad feeling, so they decide to ask, What do you want from us? Shut up. You, the ghost responds. A short while later, Jesse's nose begins to gush red. A YouTuber named Sean Durez decides to go ghost investigating with his friends at their studio office, which is apparently haunted. They meet up at 2 a.m. and are talking about what they should do next, when something in the next room over wrecks their plans. What, what actually what? was that? Approximately 10 seconds later, this sound fills the building. Listen to it and tell me if you think it's real or edited. Oh, Wait. Shh. Legit. By now, they are pretty much freaking out and ready to take off, but the spirit isn't quite through with them yet. You'll see absolutely nobody was nearby when this happens, which makes me think it could be real. All of the lights shut off before they get a chance to leave. One of them turns the camera light on just in time to see their friend blankly staring at them from the ground. I guess he could just be acting, and one of his friends pulled him by his feet, but that still doesn't explain this actual ghost sighting at the very end. Let's go! I think this could be real because the raw adrenaline sends his friend barreling straight through a door. Security cameras in this home didn't spy any intruders while this family was on vacation, at least not of the mortal kind. Published by Grasshopper222 in July of 2011, the living room camera captured what looks like a cat toy moving across the floor. The only problem? There's no cat in sight. Moments later, a strange noise resounds in the room, and several objects fall to the floor. The bathroom's camera captured further paranormal activity. Two toothbrushes fling from the counter, not falling but as if propelled by an unseen force. The faucet turns on full blast sometime later, while something flings into the sink. This is followed by the toilet flushing, and what sounds like the lid slamming shut. In the garage, although it's dark, you can hear noises. The YouTuber says it's a drill, and the door's on his father's car door. You can see the car's interior lights turn on when the doors open. In the kitchen, activity occurs over several days. Watch closely. Days later, this happens. While well, some in the comments are perplexed by this blatant activity, others are spotting things you may not have seen, like this shadow. Do you too think this house is in need of a priest? Is this yet another creepy creature of the forest? Something pale and wide-eyed is playing peekaboo from behind this log. What is this thing? Some in the comments think it's a person wearing a mask, others think it's an opossum, but many think it's an owl, and I have to agree, unless it is, as Deflaco Napier suggests, a ghost bird.
I think I just changed my vote. Most unidentified flying objects involve blinking lights. This one has no light, which perhaps adds to its mystery. Published by Burbex in June of 2021, this mysterious video captured a triangular-shaped unidentified flying object in the sky over Shanghai, China, which caused some speculation on the internet. The dark triangle was captured overhead in multiple videos, piercing through the clouds or smog as they shift past. According to Burbex, some of this footage was filmed from the Panorama Hotel, and in the video, he is on a mission to solve the mystery. He heads to the hotel where an unusual number of police and security officers are gathered outside, but there reportedly was an alleged gas leak on the next street over. Burbex heads inside and up to the 27th floor where one of the videos was filmed. Looking over the bund, it's hard to imagine what could have projected that triangle into the sky. Burbex then talks with other Shanghaiers who spotted the mysterious, unidentified flying object. One of them shows the photo he captured on camera from below. He notes that the shape of the building is a triangle and there are lights on the top of the building. <laughs> When the lights are cast upward and clouds are overhead, the lights bounce off of them, creating the triangular image in the sky. Although some might be disappointed that this isn't an unidentified flying object, for others, solving this mystery is incredibly satisfying. I thought all of the scary Alexa videos had been sorted out by Amazon, but according to a TikToker named The Jackie Cole, they've only just begun. She must want to see if Alexa still does that creepy laugh because she asks it to repeat her own monotone laughter. Alexa, Simon says ha 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 ha. Alexa repeats the words back in a small voice that quickly becomes breathy and scary with gasping noises and a strange sentence at the end that kind of sounds like I am at the end. Let me know what you think it says. <laughs> I have never heard a machine sound like this before, and I hope I never will for the rest of my life. If you happen to have an Alexa, I wouldn't recommend trying this out unless you want to hear a similarly scary reply. <laughs> There's a scary haunted tunnel in Pakistan that MMTV wants to go exploring to see what creepy things he can find inside. Exploring a haunted tunnel in the desert at night by yourself, what can go wrong? Apparently a lot. A sparkling cloud of mist lingers around him, spirits he suspects. First it travels in one direction, disappears and comes back to guide him towards the tunnel. That's really weird, but some downright scary things are caught on camera when he goes to the entrance, like this red stain on the ground that shapes the outline of a person. Strange, unexplained lights give him pause, and you can say whatever you want about this freakishly deep laughter. It's not the wind. The wind doesn't blow tires. He gets out of there fast, not wanting to face whatever is haunting this strange place. And when he takes one last glance at the entrance, he spies movement from above. Something wants to follow him home. 
After all of these scary moments, I would say yes, this tunnel is haunted. Jay Swingler is a YouTuber who claims to have been stalked for a long period of time in a very bizarre manner. He never sees a stalker face to face. Instead, they prefer to send Jay videos of himself that were taken without his knowledge. And some of these videos record very intimate moments of his life. Here, for example, is a random video of Jay fast asleep next to his girlfriend. It was apparently taken late at night through a window. To make things even worse, Jay says he has received these videos through the file sharing app called AirDrop, but by design both parties have to be within 30 meters of each other for the app to work, which means whoever sent this was very close by. I guess there's a possibility the video could be fake, but he seems genuinely fearful and truthful in his explanation. I think it is probably real but I encourage you to watch the full video and let me know. Scary Surreal Places and Time Lapse is a YouTube channel that speeds up raw footage of odd and interesting locations in search of anything out of the ordinary. They are recording a pure at random when this strange creature comes rushing towards them. I would say this is just a fish, but the animal clearly starts on land and paddles to them before submerging at the last second. They shine their lights around both sides of the pier, but whatever it was is long gone. The animal is very small, but the wide wake left in its path suggests that it's much more powerful than it seems. Leave me your best guess as to what this could be, because even the uploaders of this video have never seen anything move like it before, and they themselves are not sure what it was. These two motorists are driving around in the UK when one of them looks up in the sky and pulls over. They stare at the clouds for about 15 seconds and nothing happens. Then, just when they are about to give up, an unknown object appears immediately in front of them. It drifts into a cloud and some kind of electric reaction happens. Lightning goes off and then a weird semi-transparent rectangular object floats to the ground. The video is very low quality, so either this was taken a long time ago with a bad camera, or else it was probably edited. Either way, I must find out more about what was in that sky. During a mid-morning flight from Canada over the Appalachian Mountains in October of 2010, this passenger captured something mysterious from the air. Watch carefully. Can you see the reflections of light in the clouds? There also appears to be a disc-like shape that emerges from the clouds at the lower half of the screen. Watch again closely. Is this a genuine, unidentified flying object caught on camera? If not, what do you think this could possibly be? Being scared of your attic is a common fear, but the description of this video reads like something straight out of a horror movie script. A man named Charlie says things have been getting weird lately because, if his suspicions are correct, someone living in his attic has been dropping notes for him to read down through the vent. The vent itself has bugs sticking out of it and is just a creepy mess. It's hard to tell what the note actually says, but at 11 seconds you can make out a few typed out letters. When you look at the note from a different angle at 32 seconds, you can see the sentence appears to end with the word one. That's when things get even weirder. From deeper within the vent, something moves. This is moving. I want to say this is all in his head, but the thing is, I see it too. A mysterious figure glaring at him from the darkness at 31 seconds. Here it is, close up. Two white eyes and a small humanoid cranium. Not a mouse, not a person. And when he looks up again moments later, the creepy thing is gone. Something has seen Charlie and it knows his fears. Anthony lives around a bunch of abandoned farmland that he has always wanted to explore. 
So he takes his camera and spends the whole day poking around. He doesn't know anything about the history of this land or why it was abandoned. But the more he discovers, the less alone he feels. There's a pain here. Hello? The buildings are all single-story structures in various states of decay, and each one is somehow distinctly lonesome in its own way. By the time he comes across the main house, he is very jumpy and senses eyes on him from afar. Tell me if you hear whispering during this part when he opens the door. I guess it could just be the creaky springs of an old screen door or something, but it really does sound like it could be voices. Anyway, the inside of the house is pretty well kept, especially compared to the other buildings, yet the unrelenting unholy aura only grows stronger with each step he takes. At one point, an abandoned nursery room literally makes Anthony nauseous. Surely something bad must have happened here. This was a kid's room, and I feel so uneasy, I feel dizzy. Anthony manages to check out the rest of the house, even the basement without incident. He's ready to leave altogether, but there's just one final surprise left for him on the way out. Uh, what the f was that? Something literally kicked the door. The door abruptly closes with a short and impolite slam, the exact kind that homeowners use when they are upset with someone for being at their door. I don't think Anthony shut the door by himself because he was out of arm's reach when it happened, and maybe it's just me, but I think I can see some kind of shadowy mist in the window on the right. Coincidentally, in the same room he was just in, Prepat Amusement Park is an abandoned park in the Chernobyl region. It was abandoned before its planned grand opening after the meltdown that contaminated the area in 1986. Posted to TikTok by Edwin Calderon 608, this TikToker is wondering what this person is doing in the highly contaminated park. The deserted Ferris wheel looks particularly gloomy, standing still with no one on it. That is, until the viewer zooms in on Google Earth to see a male figure standing in the service box beside the ride. The man isn't armored against the radiation that still pollutes the area. He is completely unprotected against it leaving me to wonder if he's perhaps superhuman. Anyone want to risk a visit to ask him? No, that'd be a terrible idea. This scary highway encounter would have easily gone unnoticed forever, if not for a dash cam recording. Pay attention to the bottom right and you'll see a blurry figure slip under the car in a matter of seconds. Pause the video and you'll see the undeniable outline of a girl from the waist up. She appears to be wearing a white dress and staring ahead with a grey face. I guess this could be light reflecting off of the pavement, but this also really does look like the outline of a person who was once living. Maybe every so often they appear in the exact same location, where they sadly lost their life years ago. Keep your eyes peeled. The shadow people are everywhere. Published by Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations in April of 2020, the team investigates multiple shadow people sightings throughout this video. Here, various shadow figures are seen appearing in multiple pieces of footage from all over the world. A figure on an isolated road in the woods. Another in this room was captured on a security camera, one peeking around the corner downstairs, the creepy figure in the bedroom, this one crossing before a fireplace at the end of the hallway, this nightmare on an abandoned airplane, and this subtle shadow in the doorway. The figure appears before some lights, this one in the reflection of a refrigerator, another at the end of a spooky hallway, yet another near this coffin and again in front of these spotlights, this one on the stairwell, another beyond this set of doors, and the last on this paranormal investigation. This video certainly seems convincing, especially due to the multiple sightings. So let me know in the comments, do you believe in shadow people? A YouTuber named Steve Huff records what he suspects could be a paranormal sighting at the Longleat House in England, built in the late 1500s. A spirit descends the steps and then continues to walk in mid-air, in heavy, plodding footsteps. Some people are claiming that this is some kind of hologram projection, while others say this is real. 
If you've ever been to the Longleat House in England, then let us know if this is just a tourist attraction so we can settle the rumors once and for all. In wandering around this abandoned building, strange apparitions appear everywhere. Published by Clip Hantu, this scary video is like the Where's Waldo of creepy figures. See if you can spot them all. Notice this thing on the ledge wasn't there a moment before. It looks like a head of hair or a wig. In the next room, you see a dark figure in the corner. As the camera swings back, it's disappeared. And with the flashlight turned on, you can see the room is completely empty. In a kitchen area, there's a pot on the counter at first. Now there seems to be a split in the clip, but the next time we see the same counter, the creepy object has replaced it. That thing looks like a shrunken head. Have these items been placed? Or is this the world's worst treasure hunt? The first and third items do look to me like they were placed. There is a cut in the video in each of these instances, but that shadow figure, that's harder to explain, makes me think this place is truly haunted after all. There's a little ghost girl in my hallway, says a YouTuber named Name's Kylie o. Fisher, and I agree. You can probably see it too if you know to look here. If you stare into the darkness long enough, you'll see it. The barely noticeable outline of a figure with its arms down, neck bent, staring ahead. It can't be Kyleo because he is holding a camera, and this ghost girl in the hallway has her hands at her sides. Tell me if you can see the creepy figure. And if you still don't see it, don't worry, I've got you covered. And in my opinion, you can definitely see the pale outline of a ghost girl much better now. That's just beyond creepy. A YouTube channel called BD Ghost Hunters sent me this video of a cursed village in their home country of Bangladesh. They don't explain how or why it became cursed. Nobody ever talks about that. All anyone says is that it was abandoned long ago and that the survivors had to move across water to get away. Everyone knows not to cross the bridge because strange and scary things are waiting on the other side. <laughs> But on this night, they want to find out what their elders won't tell them, and so they step forward. There's movement in the distance, the figure of a person in the shadows, not an animal. They approach the old building and see no one is on the roof. <laughs> the BD Ghost Hunter team bravely goes upstairs to investigate the paranormal activity, and that's when things get even more bizarre. Allah. 
Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Malik Innas, Ilahi Innas, Min Shari Allahu Asil Khanna. Allahu Jaz Izu Kuchh Duri Innas Min Al Jinnati Anna. Allahu Akbar. 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 Allahu Akbar Not even Google is able to translate what they are saying So translate this next part if possible কাপতে সেই তুমি এই জিনিসটা কি দেখছো এটা কিন্তু তোমার কি বলে মৃত্যু খাটিয়া দেখছো আল্লাহ শুধু এটাকে দেখা হচ্ছে আল্লাহ I'm almost positive someone is holding the chair, but no one is there when they round the corner and it's still propped up at a weird angle. Anyway, that's weird, but when they reach the balcony, where the windows first open, they find nothing wrong with them. That's when they feel the curse grow stronger and turn around. <laughs> They follow the footsteps up the roof and find a door that's deadbolt locked on their side, meaning no one could have passed through. They open a rusted door and don't find much activity at first, but that all changes soon enough. A ghost slams shut the door while they are examining the object. They dare not go any further into this village and leave knowing nothing more about the place other than the legends are real. Do you believe them? I might. When ghosts just won't leave you alone, what more can you do but investigate? Published to YouTube by Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. In December of 2017, this four-part paranormal series has it all. In the first video, the homeowner explains that the ghosts in his home just won't leave him be. He welcomes the good ghosts to stay, but the activity has skyrocketed. Not the one that's saying it. Hello? Is anybody in here? He says they're constantly saying his name. In the first video, while running the spirit box, the spirit tells him, It's me. When he asks who's in here, the spirit says, Just you, Kent. The spirit also tells him, It's my house. I need help. Rachel's in trouble. All throughout the clip, he hears other EVPs and disembodied voices, even without using the spirit box. In parts 2, 3, and 4, as the investigation continues, he and his wife regularly hear disembodied voices throughout the home. Often, the voice cusses, tells Kent to get out of there, asks for help, or tells him to be careful. When he's in the room with what he calls the witch's window, the spirit is even more vocal. It says, we're not done, they're all weak. Kent also sees faces in the porch window, which he believes are spirits. After listening to all this, it's not a stretch to think that something bad happened in this house, and could that be what is causing the paranormal events that are happening in this house? 
Beyond this fence lays an abandoned asylum that a YouTuber named TGF Bro and his friends badly want to explore. The inside looks like a tattered mansion on the verge of collapse. Strange noises follow them as they progress deeper into the interior of the asylum. When they get deep enough, TGF Bro pulls out a Ouija board and begins directing questions to whoever or whatever is near. If there's anybody there, please move the triangle to yes. The group hears a loud bang directly behind them, and they all take off. I noticed that the third person was off camera though, so maybe that person made the commotion and then acted scared. Then again, old asylums are supposed to be notoriously haunted, so I wouldn't be surprised if the Ouija board really did bring spirits near. This scary video captured an inhuman humanoid figure lurking over a human habitat, and it has been trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. Taken in someone's backyard, you first see a pool with trees beyond. It looks as though the cameraman is searching for something in the foliage. He then turns to the roof of the home. The roof at first seems to be empty, but when the cameraman turns completely to the right, this terrifying figure is spotted. Its fleshy skin is a raw, sunburnt pink. Its limbs are somewhat elongated. Its shoulders are hunchbacked, and its pinhead is on a neck that's uncannily long. The creepiest part of it is that the figure is looking right at him. It stays still for a second, its eyes glowing as it watches the unsuspecting cameraman, before leaping with cat-like reflexes over the other side of the roof and out of sight. If this footage is real, then I have no idea what this thing possibly was. This one would certainly wake you up at night and probably wouldn't let you go back to sleep. Posted by Awesome Narwhal to Reddit, he writes, Saw a post about lightning and decided to share my own. The very short, three second clip shows a lightning bolt blaze just outside the window, reaching what appears to be a tree off to the left. The entire tree lights up, not unlike the electrified burning bush from the earlier entry. This is such a scary act of nature that it almost makes you want to feel the heat yourself, but that is certainly not a good idea. For the love of all that is holy, look out behind you. Posted to TikTok by Haunting Facts, this TikToker is dancing in a parking garage and doesn't seem to realize that something is watching. And not only watching, it's coming closer. Watch closely as the TikToker performs her choreography. After moving to the right, a figure is seen creeping up behind her. He is so close that he could reach out and touch her. The figure looks like a man with his back facing the girl. Unaware, she jumps to the left, and the figure is again blocked from view. This man went unseen earlier in the clip. You don't see him approach, even though the girl starts dancing further back from the camera. Where did this guy come from? Did he just materialize out of thin air? And what does he want? Some TikTokers say he's obviously Batman, while others are having trouble seeing the figure at all. But Sydney's having no trouble. She writes, Bro, I saw it and it actually gave me a little heart attack. Sounds like Sydney might need a break from the scary videos. Ethan Menard and his friend are out exploring when they find a long tunnel that gives off a creepy vibe. When they are commenting on how dark the tunnel is and just trying to keep calm in general, when suddenly a small child's voice chimes in somewhere behind them. It's like pitch black in here. The timing of this creepy small voice is quite a curious and morbid coincidence. It simply says hello at just the right moment during a pause in their conversation. It's like pitch black in here. Whether this was real or edited is up for you to decide, but I think there is a strong chance that something paranormal was down there. A YouTuber named Alone in the Dark takes a two-hour tour of a haunted hospital that has been out of commission for a long time. 
He repeatedly hears noises and gets signs that he is not alone. Like here, for example, when you can see a light appear out of nowhere in response to his voice. Need to hear a ringing. At one point on an upper floor, he finds a long streak of dried red liquid running down the wall from a nearby ceiling vent. It almost looks like someone was grabbed from above by something terribly strong and pulled up into the ventilation duct, where they met a horrible fate. Something else strange about this video is how all of the cabinet doors that he passes by seem to be flung open. Cabinets opening by themselves is a classic sign of a haunting, so take that for what you will. When he is finally ready to leave, the paranormal events really pick up in ways you'll never guess. There's a lot more going on in this thing. First, he hears an ambulance pull up to the defunct hospital, and then he sees shimmering lights on the ground. It could just be broken glass reflecting into the beam of his flashlight, but then again, it could be a paranormal energy signature. Either way, the timing of the ambulance siren is too much of a coincidence for me to believe this was anything normal. Lewis Clark and his friends want to check out this old abandoned train up close to see what's in it. All the train cars are mostly empty. But then they see something horrible in the caboose. What the f What is that? Oh, what? What the f Oh my god. The sheets are covered in red splotches and appear to have something heavy underneath them. But Lewis Clark and his friends don't dare unwrap them. They run away from the scene as fast as possible instead, jumping over a second sheet in the process. What was under these sheets, if anything, is anyone's guess, though many have speculated that both incidents could have been covering an actual body. As far as I know, Lewis Clark and his friends have not returned to unwrap the sheets, and they probably never will. Ryan fears his house is haunted. After seeing some scary things in the basement, he goes exploring and gets through most of the downstairs area until there's only a few places left to check, but just when he thinks his house might not be haunted after all. Up the stairs runs a mysterious figure, a scary shadow person sighting if I've ever seen one. Maybe the steps are carpeted to muffle its footsteps, but it's beyond creepy how fast the shadow moves without making a sound. Ryan's scared reaction sounds about as realistic as it gets. He freaks out and runs away, and then walks to the steps where he last saw it as he regains his sense. Against his better judgement, he looks up and waits. He knows something is up there, but he cannot explain what it is, nor bring himself to face it. A scary sound, not quite a hiss, not quite a howl, not a moan, just a creepy warning noise comes down the stairs. He does the smartest thing anybody could do in this situation, stop exploring, get your keys and run. What is this toy doing in the center of this haunted building? You're about to find out. Originally posted to TikTok by Texas Ghost Hunters, this clip has me terrified. The ghost hunters are hearing noises all around them. Now watch the toy at the center of the hallway. As the toy rolls toward them repeatedly, they start to panic, but when they are brave enough to get closer, they see that nothing is attached.
I'm not sure how this toy would have moved other than by the hands of a malevolent spirit. I personally think this place is 100% haunted. Do you? A Saudi Arabian ghost hunter known as Explorer Abdullah Al Anzi goes investigating a haunted mansion that has been abandoned for a long time. Strange paranormal activity begins in the courtyard. Decades of decay have worn this place into little more than roomfuls of rubble that he is determined to explore. As he is wondering how many floors this building has, he realizes he is far from alone. He's exploring the basement when he hears something in a commanding voice. If you know what was said, then fill us in too. Huh? He isn't sure where it's coming from, so he looks all around. Right before Abdullah turns around, something strange is caught on camera looking at him at 16 minutes and 23 seconds. A spirit or a creature with a single glowing eye. The voice is never heard again, so he thinks it's a jinn. Based on the paranormal evidence he's caught on camera, I think he's probably correct. Have you ever woken up to the feeling that you're being watched? Posted to Twitter by San Bernardino PD in April of 2022, this brazen home intruder was captured on camera standing over the home's residence while they slapped. A wise camera in the resident's bedroom caught the thief lurking over them, creepily watching them. It looks as though the thief knows there's a security camera there. As he covers his face with a piece of cloth, he watches the residents sleeping. After watching the sleeping residents, he starts looking around for valuables. While many of these videos don't often have a satisfactory conclusion, this one does. The San Bernardino Police Department writes in the comments, Due to outstanding police work from our officers and investigators, the suspect was identified and arrested. Thankfully, he won't be hovering over anyone else as they sleep anytime soon. Some people like their onion rings extra crispy, but not when the added crunch is because of this. And I got some nice uh, roaches in my uh, onion rings here. They are so small that they kind of almost blend in until you see the tiny shriveled up legs. But I mean, if you were eating this meal straight out of the bag and concentrating on the road, you might not even notice them at all. Again, this is one of those videos that I regret coming across because I realized how easily it could have happened to anyone watching. As awful as it sounds, I doubt this customer was the only person who got served a big batch of fried bugs that day. Here's my general advice for this video. Do not watch it alone. Posted to TikTok by TV, a man is walking through a cemetery that's been around for about three decades fairly new for a cemetery. It's not clear if he's entered the hallway of a mausoleum, but he's in the interior of a building. The sun shines into the corridor periodically, and you can hear a mysterious wailing in the distance. Sí se ve algo tenebroso, pero pues supongo que así son todos los... ¿Qué onda? ¿Qué es eso? As he continues down the hallway, he can see a boy at the far end of it. He calls out to him. He keeps addressing the child as he approaches him, but the child doesn't respond. Niño. Niño, ¿quién eres? Then suddenly, the cameraman turns around and starts running in the opposite direction while reciting a prayer. 
Seems like an overreaction, but look closer. As many in the comments note, the child does not look like a normal child at all. Some think it looks like a demon, either growing bigger or rising from the ground. When it turns, the cameraman realizes it isn't a normal child. Some in the comments are suggesting that the figure is a duende, which is a folkloric humanoid figure, like a gnome. Is it truly a duende or some other mischievous creature? Or are we thinking too positively? And it truly is a demon. This clip was posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Scream Aim and Fire. When you're home alone and you start catching things moving out of the corner of your eye, you may begin to wonder whether you're really alone after all. Scream explains that, days before, she had noticed a bell hanging from the ceiling move slightly, but there was no breeze and nothing else hanging in the room was moving. Thereafter, when she was home alone she started to hear things, like people pacing the hallways. She turned on her camera after hearing something fall in the home, as she was determined to go and investigate. The Redditor notes that later, after re-watching the video, a couple orbs flew by. Even scarier, she writes, I think I saw my mother-in-law's doll move too. Watch the video closely, and you'll see exactly what she's talking about. As she walks into her mother-in-law's room, the doll sitting on a chair against the back wall does appear to move its head ever so slightly. While the orbs captured throughout the video could very well be dust, it's hard to explain the doll's inexplicable movement. Does the Redditor have a Chucky situation on her hands? If so, she'd better flee before the gloves come off. The Shadows Are Coming For You Published by ILM and Bono Paranormal in July of 2021 This creepy clip shows you are never as alone as you think. A man is walking through an abandoned building and his camera scans the room. Look carefully in the window pane. A shadow figure passes by, outlined against the glass. It's unclear if the figure is outside walking past or inside being reflected, but all I do know is the cameraman has company. If I were him, I'd be getting out of there ASAP. The UK explorer reaches the top floor of an abandoned house and finds himself standing outside of an old break room kitchen. He takes a single step inside and is met with the sound of old material crumbling beneath his feet. He's going into one of the rooms that we found in a house that, that belonged to the factory. Nice kitchen. In. I did in fact fall. Luckily I didn't go right through. He falls up to his waist and puts his arms out at the last second to save himself, shutting off his camera in the process. A newly formed hole in the brittle floor shows a massive drop ending in piles of sharp-edged debris. Even if he did survive the fall, no one was around to help for miles in all directions. Number 11 This elevator video from 2012 was taken late at night at an undisclosed location. The space is completely empty until a woman with long dark hair and a dirty nightgown appears out of nowhere with her head down. She stands in place for less than 10 seconds before the security camera suddenly glitches out and shuts off. Two months later, the video was leaked to the public and posted online. This leaked video might be fake because it almost looks like a stereotypical Hollywood version of a ghost. Then again, as CCTV cameras continue to improve in quality, it would only make sense for the spirits to show more detail as well. TikToker Marlene Sanchez052 thought her partner was joking when he started to behave like something was pulling him. It turns out he wasn't. Watch closely. When I thought he was joking, but something was really pulling him. His leg really does look like it's being yanked by something. This is not a natural movement that you make on your own. Some in the comments also note a child's giggle at the beginning of the clip. <laughs> is that child actually there? Or is it the child spirit pulling his leg? I think it's the latter. And that's truly terrifying because that kid is strong. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.